Hello friends, my name is Umesh Paliwal. I am the co-founder of Anhizon. Friends, in today's video, we will discuss Care Health Insurance Quarter 3 results. In this video, I will discuss first how much uh, total uh, revenue company has generated uh, in the first 9 months of FY23, uh, FY22-23 and then we will uh, compare with the last year 9 months. Then we will see what is the total premium the company has earned in the last 9 months and then we will try to compare with the last 9 months of previous years. And I will also discuss what are the sources of revenue for care health insurance or any other health insurance company or if you want to analyze any health insurance company how you can analyze it and at the end I will also discuss what is the current valuation of care health insurance in the unlisted market so let us start this video as you can see in my uh, excel I have uh, highlighted two important businesses of any insurance company first is the income from insurance business second income from the investment business let us suppose uh, you you have started your company as a insurance health insurance business now when you start selling your health insurance products in the market you will get a premium suppose you are selling a policy of 10,000 rupees as a premium and uh, you are giving a risk cover of 5 lakh the 10,000 that you are earning is your income from the insurance business that is the income from insurance business now the 10,000 that you have in your balance sheet you will invest somewhere so when you invest that money either in government bonds or whatever other guideline as per IID you can invest you will earn some income that income is known as income from investment business so this is how any insurance company earn money or this is the revenue sources of uh, any health insurance or life insurance company so as you can see we have the public disclosure available with us which care health insurance has given us so let us analyze the results see this is the insurance business so you can see the premium earned last year up to quarter was this this, this figure in lakh so it is 1741 crores so we'll quickly write this and we'll try to compare and calculate uh, what is the total earning so 1741 is the total premium they have earned in the nine month of last year uh, this year they have earned 2730 so if you try to calculate what is the total growth so it will come out 56 percent is the total uh, premium earned growth which is phenomenal any redemption of investment uh, that is 3 crore and 3.72 so it is uh, a very small figure any interest dividend rent they have earned uh, that was 92 crore this, this year 124 crore so this is how you can uh, check what is the total income uh, care health insurance has earned somewhere around 2857 crores this figure in crores last year it was 1836 so if you copy this so uh, around 55 percent total growth now this is the total income now we'll have, we'll have to see what are the total cost of the company how do you analyze the cost first important cost in any health insurance business is claims because you are paying a premium you are buying a policy uh, so that whenever you are in need you can get a claim so what is the claim incurred see uh, last year it was 1302 right 1302 this year right uh, 1495 how much is the commission because uh, as you can see in the business of uh, health insurance uh, they have the agents in the market who on their behalf sell the policy to the uh, to the clients so they will get the commission so company has to give commission to the agents so that commission is basically 65 crore and 338 crore now what are the operating expenses see when you are operating a business of care health or any health insurance business you need operating expense you need office you need employees 
right so all those expenses are known as operating expenses the operating expense related to insurance business was 728 crore and now 899 now it is 899 what is the premium deficiency uh, we'll about this uh, when it was 135 crore now it is not so we'll take it as this as zero so what are the total expenses so if we sum this So it is 1960 and this year 2722 so what is the total increase if you just copy this 38.88 percent so in the total expenses that go increase by 38.8 percent so what is my, my operating profit somewhere 135 crore last year it was negative right operating profit is around 124 crore around that figure uh, last year it was 123 crore right some figure here and there but uh, that's a calculation that you can do now come to the investment part see this is the uh, this is the business this is the income they are carrying from the uh, insurance business right uh, last year it was negative this year it was uh, somewhere around 124 crore so we'll take that figure only uh, because these figures are not in uh, uh, what you can say it's not uh, in decimal wise so uh, some uh, difference is there in the figure that you can calculate now if i talk about the investment business uh, in investment business they have earned income of 48 crore from interest dividend rent and this year it is 7, 71 crore so from uh, last year it was 41 now 71 so some f uh, s profit on sale of investment they have uh, so they have must have sale some investment so last year it was 1 crore this year 5 crore so we'll add this one here uh, I'll we'll add 1 crore here and uh, 5 crore here right so other what are, what are the other, other expenses other expenses were related to those other than those related to insurance business right because now we are not talking about the insurance business because uh, there must be some uh, investment uh, people who are doing the investment on the basis of the uh, income they are generating so it was 3.5 crore it was 4.46 so somewhere around 3 crore and somewhere around 4 crore so what is the total pbt profit before tax last year minus 82 this year 194 right so this is the total income from operation you add this income from investment subtract the operation expenses you will get the profit before tax then you have to pay some taxes to the government uh, those taxes after paying those taxes uh, of somewhere around 51 crore they have paid and some deferred tax was there for 3.6 crore somewhere around 48 crore they have paid last year minus 22 last year they have got some exemptions 48 crore so if you subtract the tax from the PBT, you will get a 146 crore as income and here it was 60 crore. So 145 crore is a profit after tax somewhere around there. So you can see the performance. Last year they were in loss of 60 crore. This year they are in profit of 146 crore. Right? So this way you can analyze a uh, health insurance business. Uh, what are the total income generated from insurance business? What are total income generated from the uh, investment business you subtract the expenses you will get the uh, profit after tax so we can say uh, in first nine months of fy23 as compared to last year nine month fy22 the company has performed really well now just now we'll try to find out what is the current valuation of uh, valuation of care health insurance in the unlisted market if you see the current price it is somewhere around 155 what is the total number of shares so for this you can uh, go to this public disclosure you can come down to the balance sheet this is the share capital it is 942 crores and they have face value of 10 so the number of shares they have is 94 crores right 
So what is the current market capitalization? Somewhere around 14,000 crores, right? So this is the total valuation of the company in the unlisted market. So with this, I will end this video. But before I, uh, before I end this video, I would request everyone to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thank you.